Hi children, welcome back to social science class. Last classes we studied about which are the important rulers ruled Delhi. It means which are the important sultanate or important dynasties ruled Delhi we already learned. Today we are going to study about administration of the Delhi sultanate. So children, administration under the Delhi sultan was inspired by Abbasid. So what I told children, administration under the Delhi sultans was inspired by Abbasid. Abbasid means children, Caliphas, Caliph or Caliphas. So uh, it was uh, theo theocratic because it was their administration was theocratic. Theocratic means ruled by priest, ruled by priest and Delhi Sultanate was an Islamic state. It was an Islamic state and it was believed that he derived his authority from God. He derived his authority from God and Indians already had a tradition. So ma'am already told you they followed a theocratic rule and it believed that rule by the priest. Anyway children in India Indians already had a tradition. We had already a tradition of monarchical rule. Monarchical rule it is assisted by a council of ministers. So some of the institutions, some institution under the Delhi Sultans were uh, carrying uh, forward of the old system and this uh, means they followed old system also some institutions in under the Delhi Sultans they followed a traditional system also now we are going to study our next topic Sultan Turkish rulers of Delhi they assume the title Sultan the Turkish rulers okay the Turkish rulers of Delhi they assumed the title of Sultan what it, it meant by power power or authority it means power or authority all the executive judiciary military powers everything concentrated in the hands of Sultan all the executive military like that judiciary all the powers are concentrated in the hands of Sultan and he made all the appointments in the high post high of officials or high of offices all the posts were appointed by whom sultans i think children it is clear next one we will look about ministers sultans was assisted by ministers so the sultans ruled the ma'am told he can't rule the entire country alone so he was assisted by ministers wazir was prime minister okay the mini wazir wazir was Prime Minister Vasir was the Prime Minister Aris I Mamlik Ministry of Defense or Defense Minister is called Aris I Mamlik. The next one Divan I Insha is responsible for records of the Royal Court. He is responsible for the records of the royal court divan i insha so these are the ministers ministers under delhi sultanate now we are going to study about provincial and local government under delhi sultans so territory of delhi sultanate it is broadly divided into two khalsa and jagir so what ma'am told children territory territory under delhi sultanate it is divided into khalsa and jagir khalsa and jagir khalsa and jagir khalsa actually children khalsa is the land under the direct control or under the direct administrative control of the center that is called khalsa khalsa is the land that is directly under the administrative control of the center second one jagir jagir was the land under independent hindu chiefs land under independent hindu chiefs that is called Jagir. So this only ma'am told the territory of Delhi Sultanate is broadly divided into two Kalsa and Jagir. Kalsa both are land. Kalsa is actually land under the direct administrative control of center. Then uh, Jagir. Jagir is the land under independent Hindu chiefs. 
then far off places or far off provinces like Gujarat, Malwa, Bihar, Bengal, Deccan, this area they were uh, appointed in charge, in charge of governors were appointed. They were called valleys or muktas, valleys or muktas. So who were valleys or muktas? Valleys or muktas were in charge governors appointed by Delhi sultans in far off places, provinces such as Gujarat, Malwa, Bihar, Bengal, Deccan, etc. Provincial government was exact imitation of the central government. Provincial government was an exact imitation of the central government and the governor was directly responsible to sultan governor was directly responsible to the sultan i think children you understood next one we next we are going to study which are the different types of taxes levied by the central government mainly four types of taxes levied by the central government one is sakat okay first one is sakat Sakat actually it is a religious tax, religious tax paid by Muslims, religious tax paid by the Muslim for the benefit of the welfare of the people, for the benefit and welfare of the people, a religious tax paid by the Muslim that is known as Sakat. Second one, Karaj. So first one I already told you Sakat. Okay, religious tax. religious tax that ma'am already told you second one courage courage actually a land revenue courage courage is actually a land revenue revenue collected from land land revenue third one calm okay calm is actually children it is a state's share state's share of plunder acquired by the soldiers during the course of war okay, it is a it is state share of plunder plunder acquired by the soldier during the course of war third one that is jasiya jasiya is a tax charged uh, to the non muslim it is a type of tax that is charged to whom non muslim that is called Jasiya. Jasiya is another type of tax. Jasiya is charged from whom? A type of tax that is collected from non Muslim. Actually, this is plunders. Okay, plunders. Whatever the war, whatever the things plundered in the war. Okay, it is a state share plundered by the soldiers in the war. That is come. These are the four types of taxes collected by the central government one sakat karaj kam and jasiya these are the different types of taxes now we are going to study about military organization military organization under delhi sultanate so children in the turk army comprises infantry cavalry war elephants etc so mainly the army Tur turkish army or turks army it comprises infantry cavalry and war elephant soldiers uh, used different types of tools such as bows arrows spears sword axes daggers then protective headgears etc these are the some tools used by the soldiers and horsemen horsemen and horses are protected by iron shield and elephant elephants used for quick transportation of soldiers arms etc for quick uh, transport these elephants are mainly used the most important and powerful delhi sultanate ruler was alauddin khalji and alauddin khalji he maintained a strong standing army he maintained a strong standing army paid in cash they were paid in cash 
but his successors they were unable or they failed to maintain this strong army okay now our last topic decline and disintegration of delhi sultan why delhi sultanate uh, what are the reason why delhi sultanate declined or what are the reason for the disintegration of delhi sultanate so children no single emperor can be held responsible for disintegration of delhi sultanate so i told there were many numerous powerful nobles they were appointed by the uh, delhi sultanate and what happened these nobles they rebelled each other they rebelled each other and they became more powerful and ambitious it became one reason for uh, the failure of or the decline of delhi sultanate another thing we can tell when they became more powerful and uh, they uh, appointed many po- governors in the varying size of land they occupied that area they appointed many governors such as in the distant places like bengal sindh gujarat daulatabad etc and there were struggle for succession in which ambitious noble they found opportunity to further their interest and in between these governors after these governors they started struggle each other they became ambitious and they started a struggle for succession that that also became a reason for the decline of delhi sultanate and the delhi sultanate period you know children i have already told you it is witnessed a centralized administration a powerful military they organized and this period is witnessed by economic prosperity cultural development etc and there there was also have the growth of architecture literature music these everything developed under the uh, delhi sultanate or oh, everybody take your textbook we will do textual exercise page number 25 you can see match the following aibak kutubuddin aibak e option e founder of slave dynasty second one alauddin kalji alauddin kalji that introduced market reforms d third one rasiya option a woman sultan of delhi fourth one muhammad bin tughlaq shifted his capital to daulatabad fifth one firosha tughlaq beginning of the disintegration of the empire beginning of the disintegration of the empire so these are the main uh, questions we have to discuss in the match the following now section b tick whether true or false Muhammad Ghori was the first emperor of slave dynasty false second one the delhi sultans appointed military commanders as governors of territories of varying size true alauddin kalji was the founder of kalji dynasty false fourth one muhammad bin tughlaq introduced token currency true last one Firoz Shah Tughlaq led two campaigns to Bengal, raided Odisha and Nagarkot and also led a campaign to Lower Sindh. True. These are the main question we have to study. So I think children you understood this chapter. This chapter we studied about which are the important Delhi sultans. We studied which are the which are the important dynasties ruled Delhi and we studied about which are the important rulers. I think this chapter is clear to you. If you have any doubt ask me. We will meet in the next class.